Now, in this case you can see this rubber band acts just as a biscuit and a tissue. In the beginning you will find it to be like this, squished. But don't worry, as the air passes by, it becomes of a normal size. You can see here, just as a presser. Fine. We don't want it to be very thick basically, fine. Because the thickness will be given to us due to our sheets of notes which is going to be present inside. If you want, you can tighten the rubber band more and prepare. Now, the basic thing that comes in here is the stitching part. That is, I'm going to take my thread. The color will be taken depending upon the cloth that you have used. Pushing it through my needle. And then, having it done in here. Knotting it at the end. So that it doesn't open up. And here is the time if your kids are doing it, make sure they have an adult supervision. Basically, these ridges which are formed in here, you need to move your needle through these ridges. Not at the very beginning point, but at least towards the middle. Because this part below the rubber band has to be cut away. So I'm going passing through my first ridge and similarly going to the second, third, fourth, every ridge and I'm making a circular motion. These circular motion you can see here passing through every ridges and pulling my thread also at the same time will help to, to secure the sponge with the cloth perfectly. You might have to give two rounds of it for better hold. See, we have taken the circular, we come back to the same part. Now what you will do is, again, go through it one more time. And after that, I'll tell you how to do the knot. After stitching, I have prepared my knot and then I'll cut out the axis thread first. So that they don't hang around from there. And then this is my needle thread. Now we have our two cushion like type things ready which is our base of our two biscuits now what I will do is I will use my scissors and cut along the uh, rubber band area just below it but above the threading area where I did this is my area for the threading and this is my rubber band in between I will in between them I will cut After cutting you will see this area which was open, no problem, that's fine and similarly here but it has been rigidly attached because of our stitching in the middle and here our two cushions for the biscuits are ready. What you can do if you're having something excess like this, in my case there is, so what I'll do is I'll just cut it down but make sure that it is above the threading area so that my thread, my stitchings doesn't come out. After preparing the cushions, now comes the cutting of our paper. Let me show you how to cut them and afterwards how they look after cutting. So here I am having three papers together as we, it's fine for me to cut it at the same time and then I will use my scissors and then keep cutting them as a circle. After we have cut the paper in the circle, I have stapled it on one side so that the book can look something like this, okay? I have added only this much paper if you want you can add more but make sure you don't overload them now again it is the time to stick the paper back into its place so what I would do is stick the first area of the paper by 
cutting my double sided tape again and then laying it the same way how we did it for sticking our cloth and the sponge like this and then the second area over it and a small third one okay. similarly we will do it for the back side of the tape also after I have stuck the one part with the sponge area before I stick the second one I would just like to give it some beautiful effect on top so what I would do is I would poke my hole uh, into one area of the sponge and then take it off we can use the help of little bit of the table or something down hard and then push it through it as such just one time here you can push and don't forget to knot it in the between here and I will just take out some access can see this knot and then pull this pulling will allow my second part to again come up as you can see here similarly keep putting the hole so that you have this type of pushing effects in the middle okay after I have stuck it here this area we'll take our final piece of this cloth and then apply it over it as such and then press it hard this pressing will help the sponge the cloth the carpet and the paper to stick together perfectly here and then you see I have made this design on this part you can also make a similar design on the front side also if you require but if I am keeping the biscuit like this a person would consider this to be as a nice cushion but you can open it and then you can write in it whatever you wish to here we have our own first Oreo biscuit practical ready a very beautiful design everyone would like to enjoy it you can carry it in your purse anywhere as a part people can consider this to be anything but you can just open Take down your pen, take notes, write things easily inside. This is your first Oreo biscuit book. Thanks for watching the video.